Hey internet, it's Peter from Russian Machine Never Breaks. I'm here to talk to you guys about my favorite moments of the 2012-2013 season. It was our best year as a blog, even if it wasn't the team's best year performatively, and that's okay. It'd be silly to start this list without talking about the Chelyabinsk, Chel Chelyabinsk, Chelyabinsk. It'd be silly to have this list at all if we didn't start with the Russian meteor. It's kind of uncool because thousands of people got hurt from like broken glass and had to go to the hospital, but no one actually died. Still, it'd be a little uncouth to make that our favorite moment of the year. So we'll talk about all the cool stuff that happened afterwards. For example, I did a Fox News thing that was weird. Uh, and then Chris and I went on NPR and did an interview with Rachel Martin, whom I have a bit of a crush on now. And after that, Ian and Chris and I ate Fuddruckers. The meteor story was definitely our biggest traffic story of all time. It's probably like 10 times bigger than any other story we've ever had, which is kind of ridiculous because it's not about hockey at all. And it makes us reevaluate our life choices. We did a lot of cool images and dorky stuff, but none of them makes me laugh quite as hard as the Yager map. The Yager map's awesome. It plots all the places where it's really hard not to say Jaeger because Pacific Rim is in my brain. All the places where Yarmir Jaeger, all the places where Yarmir Jaeger has played, there's not enough room on the map to put his big old mullet over New Jersey. We're very lucky at this point that the Capitals are not playing in the Yager division. Unfortunately, they landed with the title Metropolitan Division, which is going to be awkward. Saying you're metropolitan is like saying you're refined or sophisticated. And that's silly because I know for a fact that the Washington Capitals listen to bad music. So after the Capitals got knocked out of the playoffs in Game 7 against the New York Rangers, there was a story about Alex Ovechkin exchanging text messages with Adam Oates. Uh, we didn't have a record of those actual text messages, so we made up our own. Here's one. Cool. I'm glad we did that story because I hope that it made people laugh at a time when no one was really laughing because hockey was a bleak and unlovable world of pain. One of my favorite stories of the year didn't actually come from Rush Machine. It came from one of our readers. One of our readers had a brother graduating from Indiana University during one of the playoff games and they followed along using their cell phones. In the middle of the ceremony, Mike Green scored the overtime game winner and they exploded completely inappropriately for a graduation ceremony. That's exactly the kind of stuff we want to get out of Caps fans. There's also the time that Tom Wilson nearly made a kid cry. That's kind of awesome. We don't see that side of hockey players enough. Usually we get the, the side of hockey players where they do good things for the community and they're active in charity. We don't get the make kids cry side of hockey players nearly enough as we should. So thank you, Tom Wilson, for that. We hope you make the team and, and give us many more moments like that in the future. Probably the biggest running story we did throughout the season was about Matthew Perot's overtime game winner celebrations. I don't really know how to describe what Matty Perot was doing in those celebrations. Uh, I would use the word gesticulate because I looked that up on the internet a minute ago, but it kind of looks like this. That freaked my dog out. Finally, my favorite moment of the 2012-2013 season wasn't about a Rush Machine post at all. We had a reader offer VIP tickets to me and Ian, but we couldn't make it. So rather than let those tickets go to waste, we found a deserving family and gave them the tickets. They had a fantastic time. And what that really tells me is that Rush Machine is more than just Peter and Ian and everybody else shouting their opinions at you. It's a community of people creating things and sharing things with one another. I know of couples that met because of Russian Machine Never Breaks, and that warms my bitter, cold heart. We hope to do more cool stuff like that in the future, because I think that's where the magic happens. Thanks for watching.